piece of junk. Uh, a new device to access the account. What the hell? Oh, well, that would be me. <clears throat> okay. Signing into that email address. All right. Okay. Okay, I got the camera flipped around. Hi, Rio. How are you today? Okay, cool. It's not going to cut my head off. Even though you're taller than I need <laughs> I need shit to sit on that. <laughs> I'm the shorter guy Damn in the shorter dog. chair. I'm tripping over my dog. Jesus. Okay, sit on the dog. So, uh, hold on, guys. I uh, can't read your comments yet because uh, I've got the... Uh, phone camera obviously across the room I'm gonna see if I can pull up the video right here so I can read comments as we go along YouTube inception YouTube inception let's go full screen wait that's not fucking that's full screen we don't want full screen because you can't see the comments uh, oh yeah, that's weird the comments pop up at, oh <laughs> there we go and uh, we're live yeah, there we are. <clears throat> and uh, we are lagging. So we all uh, answer comments as they come in. I'm doing much better on the... Uh... Okay. Oh, no, that's you from earlier. So, yeah, no, we need to... Uh, we need to talk loud because I'm barely getting audio from my crappy speakers on my old Alienware. The old Alienware. Crappy. Thanks, uh, BFU. Yeah, I can't see the comments, so... But go out of full screen, it'll probably be less laggy that way, too. The joys of technology. Alright, so, I don't think... Um, oh, yeah, there we go. They are popping up on the side. We've got Boom Tendo, holy moly. It's Boom Tendo. Boom Tendo. Boom Tendo. Uh, Rio's good. That's good for you, Rio. I'm glad you're good, uh... I played with a Nerf baseball bat in a recent SCNC war. The guy had a boffer, and I had a demolisher missile. I would have uh, just waited for him to shoot the demolisher missile and <laughs> use my bat to knock it out of the air. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So, watching the live chat. Uh, Boom Tendo, do me a favor and type something so I can uh, get... Uh, Time our lag. Yeah. So we got we got plenty of lag going on here. I'm going to turn the volume off on the computer. Ah, uh, thank you, Boom Tendo. That is perfect. So <laughs> nice. So we're watching ourselves a few seconds from behind, but we can see the comments. That's dope. So yeah, this is a new test of uh, some new software. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to probably start doing a live uh, Nerf cast because we uh, we tried it in the past. Uh, we've had all kinds of issues, but it seems like. Uh, uh, Moo Gap Gap said boobies. Boobies. Movies. Movies. And uh, so we've tried uh, to do something in the past and it just hasn't worked out. But now Boom that... Tendo's here. I'm going to show him. Look what we got. Would you be so proud of us? <laughs> Look at that, dude. And I scored it for three ninety nine. We haven't done anything to it yet, but soon enough. So let's see if the feed actually keeps awesome. Boom Tindo says it's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're well, gonna do a little uh, Nerf chat while we're waiting for DHL to deliver a mystery package. Mystery package. Um, like I said, <laughs> cool minis or not? Cool minis or not? It could be. <laughs> it could not be. To to be or not to be, that is the question. We've been so lazy on videos. We have all kinds of cool stuff to talk about that. You haven't seen our videos up for yet. You've seen the uh, Twin Shock video. That thing's sitting over there. Now, life has gotten in the way for uh, the phone brewer and I. And Stupid life. We've had all kinds of issues, but now we're, we're back. We're back in action uh, slowly but surely. So, Where's Mr. Beer? We should show that off. Yeah, um, let me get Mr. Beer. Nintendo says he's lying too because he hasn't 
He has opened his rapid madness and he has three of them. Shit. <laughs> okay, Mr. Beer. Now, you're going to have a hell of a time rolling back because of the carpet. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe I'll, I'll use that as my line. I'm um, going to actually tilt the camera a little bit here so there's not so much table. Maybe that's a good call. I don't feel like I have to duck so much. There we go. Oh, yeah, Mr. Beer. Um, we did post a picture of Mr. Beer on the Facebooks, I think. Uh, the sweet nemesis mod. One of the easiest things we've ever done, and yet super effective. Uh, out of darks, eat your heart out. We'll take you down with this, the next war. Here comes Mr. Beer. <laughs> so, we got it. Mr. Beer, which is our hopper fed nemesis, that uh, went from holding 100 rounds to holding 1100 rounds. <laughs> so, oh, hey, Mr. Nathan says that's good. Thanks, Mr. Nathan. <laughs> we appreciate it. This is what we like to call a five minute mod. Uh, I used an X Acto knife to cut a hole in the bottom of the uh, beer tank. It was the same size as the opening in the top of the hopper. We had to put a screw to hold the the lock down, but that was really simple. Yeah, just drilled that out, put a Nerf screw in it. It holds the lock down just fine. Mr. Beer shoots, excellent. Just do a little shoot test. I turn the safety on, off, there we go. Batteries are pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> The dog wants rival bad. Dog dog loves rival. The only problem with Mr. Beer is I left Mr. Beer out in the sun on a hundred degree day and it uh, flattened the side of Mr. Beer. So we're probably down to about a thousand round capacity or maybe 1050. Um, let's see. Um, Mugat, God, I can't pronounce that. Mugagat. Mugagat. As a 30-something who hasn't touched Nerf for like five-ish years, any recommendation on getting back into the pool? Yes! Go get yourself, I know it's a little expensive for 60 bucks, but go get yourself a Nerf rival Hera. The Hera is dope. Yeah, super cool. Super fun. We're going to reject that phone call. I don't know. It was just a 707 number. Is the hair right in here? Yeah, it uh, should be just sitting in the uh, the cabinet in there. Yeah, uh, I don't know if our sound's back. Hopefully our sound is back. Somebody just called me. Uh, can somebody give me a, a shout out that uh, says sound is back so we don't have to restart this video? <laughs> Yeah, this is the Hera. Uh, okay, sound is on. Boom Tindo can hear. Thank you, Boom Tindo. Excellent. Good looking out. So, yeah, here's the Hera. Um, $60 price tag, a little on the pricey side, but really, really worth the money. Really a comfortable, uh, you know, adult size blaster. If you're in your 30s, you're going to love it. We're in our 30s. We love it. Yep. Um, it takes the rival battery pack, so if you don't want to actually rip it apart and mod it yourself, throwing in that rival battery will uh, get you pretty legit performance boost. The uh, Nerf Vlogger wants to know where have we have been? Um, well, Jake is moving away uh, to uh, a town an hour and a half away from here because uh, he's lost his house in Napa. And it's so expensive to live here. And I'll probably be back, but for now we're, we're going to... And uh, I have been going through a divorce, and uh, so that's been rough on me, and uh, just trying to work, and uh, yeah, life has been unexpectedly uh, busy and not too great to us, so. Let's see, uh, mod potential, uh, Muga asked, um, mod potential, actually. It uh, could be, it can be made full auto. Yeah. Uh, I think about, um, well, yeah, no, actually, I'm sure it could. You'd have to shave those little things down. I don't know that anyone's done it yet, but you can make it full auto. Like I said, with the with the rival battery pack, you'll get better performance. Uh, you slap a lipo and rewire the thing, you'll get even better performance. 
Most of the uh, rival motors are strong enough that you don't need to swap the motors out. Right, and uh, the other thing is, you know, if you just want a quick dirty mod, you can just buy the Nerf battery for this thing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The the, the Nerf battery is pretty cool yeah. for what it does, and that will work across the board with most of the uh, rival line. Sparks House says, sup bros? What's up, Sparks House? Sup. How you doing, man? And uh, let's see. Uh, Clowny Nerf says, you young nuts are in your 30s? No, I'm sorry, Clowny. We can't all be old like you. But I'm. I'm. Uh, I just. Pretty new. I wish I would have never started, but I'm an idiot. I hear a car out front. Could be DHL. Or it could be them tearing up some stuff down the street. Yeah, because that's cool. So, I think the dog will let us know when DHL is here. Uh, we just had a lag and a jump. Actually, it looks like we jumped forward in time. Yeah, yeah, Boom Tindo, it's been rough times, but, you know, we're going to get through it. No problem. Yeah, it's, uh, Novacom will stay strong. We're not breaking up the organization. North Bay Phone Force will stay strong. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, we do Nerf birthday parties now for kids for a price tag of 350 bucks for a two-hour event with $100 on top of for each additional hour. And, uh, so if you are in the Bay Area and you, uh, you have a youngin' and you want to do a Nerf birthday party, give us a call. Or uh, hit us up at NorthBayFoneForce.com. So, uh, let's see. Who else is posted? Uh, we answered the Nerf Blogger. We've answered Boomtendo. Mugagat. Mugagat. I almost got it right that time. <laughs> so, yeah. We're just waiting on DHL. But there's so much stuff we have to talk about. We, have, we haven't been in... We, we've been in the scene... We just have been behind the scenes. <laughs> yep. We got a judge. That video's not out yet. The yep. judge is uh, ridiculous, but it's super fun. I'm actually looking forward to running it. I think I have an, an all shotgun loadout. Uh, uh, Muga. Got it. The guy is silent. It's just Muga. Muga. Oh, that's even easier. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Muga. <laughs> <laughs> that's like... Uh, when I go by my Russian name, Michael, it's C H M I C H A E L. <laughs> but the C H is silent. And my audio is still on because my computer is so slow that it doesn't like turning down the audio. Uh, you know what, Jake? Go over there and. Uh, we can't do that, right? Uh, yeah, it just I watched it just flicker autofocus, but it won't do it because we're on YouTube. Oh, yeah. But it, the, uh, the cool part is the live is working. So if you have any more questions for us, just shoot questions. Let's see. Uh, no, actually, Boom Tindo, I did not see the new Boom Co. Blaze of Glory coming out this year. I, uh, oh, that's the the Halo shotgun, right? So. I've seen a picture of it. It looks pretty good. It's very uh, very Halo-y and looks to be almost adult size, so that's a bonus. Yeah. Uh, very happy with the Nerf Rival line and... Uh, Actually, they scaled up just a little bit, it seems like, and they've made it even more adult. Than a a child will have a difficult time getting their hands around this. This is definitely an adult-sized blaster. Yeah, which is fantastic. Thanks. I noticed that at uh, Walmart, they moved the Nerf is no longer in the toy department. Really? It's over by the bicycles. Yeah. So. so there's more, not that there's any more Nerf there, but there's more room for it. I've been, I've been cruising it pretty often, looking for the new stuff to come out. Um, they don't have anything new out at our Walmart yet. Boom, uh, or Boom Tindo says, yeah, it's pump action and clip fed. So, uh huh. No, it looks it looks legit. Clip fed shotgun. That'll be pretty cool. Looks like it has a very short stock, but uh, you know, whatever. It is it is a toy, yeah. so we'll deal with those. <laughs> Sorry, it's weird because I keep looking down to check this and then I look back up and I do touch my beard a lot. Somebody mentioned that the other night at game night. So <laughs> that's one thing I have been doing on a regular basis is running tabletop game nights. That's why uh, I'm uh, hoping that uh, I'll have a new tabletop game come through today. Yep, we'll find out when the package gets here. We might be uh, ditching Nerf to talk about... Uh, tabletop gaming stuff if not we're getting this package from lighttake.com which is a uh, chinese wholesaler that uh got a hold of us they have those uh 
with those 12 round mags and all the neat neon colors. So we're looking forward to getting some of those. They have generic AccuStrike darts. They have generic Worker 22s, yeah. They, I think they have generic Worker 22s. They've got uh, they have a bunch of different dart types. Super, super cheap. Um, they're selling like uh, knockoff Nerf, the Nerf TAC vests and the Rival vests. They've got knockoffs of those. Um, uh, they've got safety glasses for like 89 cents a pair. So I think we might be picking them up from there because yeah. they're less than a dollar a piece. And that's damn cheap. So, uh, Muga says, uh, let's see, da, da, da. if I get a Hera, is it easy enough to get extra mags? Yes, the extra mags, the 12 rounders are what, 10 bucks? 10 bucks, and they come with 18 or 25 balls, so, I think. And then, uh, let's see, Sparkhouse said, uh, opinions on the Ravenfire. The Ravenfire looks cool. Uh, the price is probably god awful. It's probably gougy and coals and. <laughs> yeah, it's from Kohl's, so I'm guessing it's going to be like 50 bucks for it, but it does look sweet. Um, Boom Tindo said, I like the new Busby stuff, and the new Busby Provision Pro Darts are good. Cool. Uh, cool. We haven't gotten any of those yet. I'm look, I haven't, like I said, the our Walmart yet. I'm looking forward to getting hold of uh, some of that new Busby stuff, actually. Uh, uh, Boom Tindo also said, tabletop RPGs all day, all night, till the sun comes back up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happens uh, when we play Zombicide. It doesn't end. Yeah, we, uh, we played a, uh, actually, it was a relatively short game the other night. I think it lasted about three hours. Uh, it wasn't one of our six-hour marathon games. But Zombicide Black Plague, it's worth a check out if you haven't checked it out. If you're into tabletop gaming, uh, it's by a company called uh, Cool Mini or Not um, and uh, Guillotine Games, which uh, Guillotine Games actually just sold the Cool Mini or Not for uh, a few million dollars. Yeah, so, they're doing pretty good for being on Kickstarter for all this stuff. Yeah, well, their last Kickstarter, so they, uh, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in a second on the, the feed. Uh, so their last Kickstarter was for a expansion for Zombicide Black Plague called Zombicide Green Horde, which is set up so you're fighting against orcs and ogres and uh, all kinds of baddies that aren't, well, they're zombie orcs, zombie ogres. They're not necessarily uh, living orcs and ogres anymore. So, uh, uh, goblins. I forgot about the orc goblins are cool too. So they... Uh, they set up their Kickstarter. They needed to raise three hundred thousand dollars. They raised a million in the first ten minutes, and uh, it actually ended up being their highest paid Kickstarter at over five million dollars. That's how legit their games are, though. Yeah, I mean they. Uh, so it, you can actually still back that on Kickstarter if you want to. Uh, head over to Kickstarter, look up uh, Zombicide Green Horde. I think it's a hundred and twenty dollars for the uh, the regular pledge if you don't buy any of the extras. Uh, and uh, Massive Darkness was the one that came in between Zombicide Black Plague and Green Horde. So Massive Darkness is what I'm waiting for. Um, it's a dungeon crawler minus the, the Game Master. So you don't have to have a Game Master. It's run by, uh, it's run by cards and dice and everything is uh, all inclusive. So it'll be cool to have a game where somebody doesn't have to sit around and babysit the entire table. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, we had hella stuff come through on the feed. So let me back the feed up here a little bit and uh, let's answer some questions. All right. This is much better than our last Q&A, which didn't go over well. Okay, uh, so we talked about the Raven Fire, talked about the Precision Pro Darts, tabletop RPGs. Uh, Clowney says gaming is the shit. I've gotten into dice games, zombie dice. Actually, I've seen zombie dice, Clowney. Uh, Trying to get Cthulhu dice. Haven't seen Cthulhu dice, uh, but speaking of Cthulhu, I've been playing a game with a friend of mine named Metal Dave. Uh, you know Metal Dave from our Chaos video. Uh, called uh, Arkham Horror. Uh, really complicated game to get into, uh, but once you do get the gist of it, it's pretty fun. You're like uh, 1930s detectives, and uh, you're trying to uh, stop the... Uh, the Arkham Horror, which is uh, based on H.P. Lovecraft's uh, novels. Hmm. So you've got all the demons like Cthulhu uh, trying to uh, end the world. The Elder Gods. The Elder Gods, basically. Huh. So, yeah, that is a good game to play. I uh, highly recommend it. Checking it out if you like uh, more advanced gameplay. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. 
Johnny uh, Witted said hello. Hello, Johnny. How Howdy. you doing? Thanks for watching. And Mr. Nathan said my knockoff HIRs have been testing very well. The uh, KO AccuStrike darts seem good. Do so far on the light take stuff seems meh. Mm. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe today. Yeah, maybe today. I don't know. When the mystery box arrives. All I know is that stuff, I mean, you know, he sent, the, the, the rep sent me links to all the stuff he was sending us, and the prices on these things are just so dirt cheap that, you know, especially for, uh, you know, hosting games the way we do, we end up going through a fair amount of darts. Um, and so, cheap darts that don't last all that long aren't necessarily a big deal to us, because... We lose them, and they just get handled so roughly anyway. <laughs> and you put them through the Striketron once, and they're destroyed. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, so um, let's see. Clowny said, I have a bunch of darts uh, uh, set in my store. Are you looking for the red ones that have the weird shape? Hmm. I'm not familiar with these, Clowny, so you should just send us some, and we'll, uh, we'll do a review on Clowny's darts because Clowny is the man. Uh, Mr. Nason's still testing though. Um, uh, Boom Tinder says I shot Rival from digging the Gobzuka. Oh yeah, that you haven't seen the Gobzuka. Gob good <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Yeah. the Gobzuka, have you? <laughs> no, I that haven't. That thing is insane. It shoots like sticky balls, but because it shoots large ammo, it has a big ass plunger tube. Oh, nice. It's uh, it's quite possibly going to be the next XPZ. Cool. Um, it looks good. It's looking good too, and it's shooting good too. Looking good too, and shooting good too. I'm, I'm interested to, to see how the uh, how the uh, uh, the the Powerball uh, their generic version, the X shot version of the rival balls are gonna do. They have a weird like triangle pattern on them. Let's see, Clowny put the uh, yeah always babies sit the players. What, Clowny? I don't even know what that means, man. That must be uh, some sort of Pennsylvania speech. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my West Coast brain can't wrap around that idea. Uh, please, you know, continue to speak Pennsylvania to me. It's so hot. So dirty. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Space Raptor Derp put capacity greater than accuracy. Um, you got them right here. Accuracy, capacity. Accuracy, capacity. Right on the table. Uh, Who needs accuracy when you have this much capacity? Uh, this is like you don't have to un you don't have to reload all day. Skyler just popped on and said, "Jake, why aren't you responding to my messengers?" Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I got a new phone and I haven't been paying attention to my messenger at all. Um, he hardly pays attention to the messenger when I call him every day. Right. I have to like call him on the scrub phone and then call him on messenger to be like, "Get on that video chat, son." Yeah, yeah. Doing? We've been. Uh, I have pieces to make the video about your blaster. We really want to do it, but unfortunately, we lost the footage of when we actually had it in our hands, so that makes it a little tougher. Yeah. And uh, so the I've got. I'm gonna send you. Um, I've got. I'll, I'll give you a message. Shoot you a message later. I've got motors that I'm gonna send you um, to replace the one that burnt out. Uh, we'll talk about that later, dude. I'll get you set up. The the shite part is, guy. I didn't. I never even got to see the finished work. So that, that blaster went out without me ever getting to touch or see the final. Oh, it was hot too. It's yeah, oh, so I know. Yeah, if you, if you want to send me some pictures of it, dude, please do because I'd like to see my own work finished. That'd be great. Uh, Skyler said, uh, "Okay, you're good. I just need uh, new motors for my stripe bolt." Yeah. Okay, thanks. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send you a set of Michelle 2.0s to put in the. Uh, Put in the cage, and then you can keep that last squiggle motor, the the still functional one, out of the cage as a backup for your pusher. Speaking um, of motors disappearing, you know, Chris James, Dangular informed everybody about the XP 180s disappearing, and uh, that's that's scary. I like XP 180s. I, well, okay, all right. This is my thing. If you want a blaster from us, please order it with 130s because. So far, shell cutting and uh, finding a cover for that has not worked out. There's another blaster I'm working on right now. Uh, I got a cover from a certain gentleman that was a prototype, and that cover ended up popping out of place. So now I have to somehow re-glue and recreate a, a custom blue that I made 
to cover that cover and make sure that it doesn't look like crap. And it's a very frustrating process. I know that our client is, he is really wanting his blaster and it's got a couple issues with the shell that are back in my hands and I haven't had time. It's just been, uh, it's been chaos over there. Yeah. Ra flat top rapid strikes, man. They look good, but oof. Yeah. Uh, if you want a flat top rapid strike, don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> you call uh, Foam Data Services. You we're, we're, we're actually looking at, at changing our policy in the way that we do commissions. Um, and as opposed to taking custom commissions, we're just going to build a bunch of really sick blasters and offer them up for sale. That way people get, you know, something personal that's a little piece of us. And, uh, I think I'm getting a phone call. All right. Well, if you need to take that, I would. Yeah, I'll take that one. You keep right. talking about commissions. Uh, so commission work. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to go ahead and start doing basically what we want to do, but we're moving in a new direction with commissions. We're no longer going to be doing your typical run of the mill. Like, Hey, I did a strife. It'll be a strife that will, uh, well, okay, this is partially because uh, we haven't really made a formal announcement, so I guess this would be the formal announcement, that JLMG Blaster Factory is now merging with MK Ultra Mods, which if you don't know Iron Frankenzilla, check out Iron Frankenzilla's work, King Sire, uh, check out his work, um, and they are MK Ultra Mods. They have some of the uh, coolest cosmetic work you've ever seen, uh, like we're uh, very much getting into the same vein of cosmetic work. My next one is uh, going to be coming out with an HR Geiger Aliens Blaster uh, that will be uh, a Nitron or a Nitro pistol with rapid strikes attached to it and a, a swarm fire attached to it. So uh, all that will be put together. And uh, let's see, Skyler's blowing me up in the feed, so I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be uh, basically making blasters that are just insanely over the top and selling them. The price tags, we're going to try and keep reasonable, but the, the problem with the over the top blasters such as Tetsuo and stuff, the amount of time that went into Tetsuo is ungodly. If somebody was to offer me money for Tetsuo, I would have to sell at no less than $1,000 because I have put hours, I mean painstaking hours. Not to mention uh, hundreds of dollars worth of hot glue into it. So all the hot glue. I was just talking about our merger with MK Ultra Mods, yeah. Iron Frankenzilla, and Joseph Rhodes. So uh, yeah, we are uh, we're gonna be uh, turning out some new stuff, and hopefully it'll be really great stuff. Was that you or me? I think that was me. Uh, no, that's me. Okay. So yeah, um, and let me go back to the feed here quick, and uh, we'll uh, go down here and see what's up. Uh, my Facebook, uh, Skyler, is just Michael Glenn. You can find me uh, um, as one of the moderators on Novacon uh, through JLMG Blaster Factory's new Facebook page, uh, through North Bay Foam Force uh, Facebook page. So yeah, just search out Michael Glenn from Napa, California. And uh, send me those pics, dude. I'd love to uh, have them. Uh, let's see. Jake had just made a rapid strike Uzi. It's running off the Hellcats. That's pretty tight. Nothing like a little rapid strike Uzi action. Yeah, good times. Uh, yeah. Screw the diaper fire. Yes. <laughs> Who needs a diaper fire? Nobody. No. I do like that one kid's idea for a commission with the, the, the stock of the hyper fire on the regulator. Like, that was one I'm like, oh, we might actually do that one, um, but... Skyler also said, glad I was able to put my strike bolt order in, and, uh... <laughs> no, that was, that, that was something we would have made anyway, because that was, uh, that was, a, a an interesting, tricky build for us, and it was something that we hadn't done before, so... I just heard a delivery truck out front. You think so? I think so. Hello? Delivery guy? All right, I'm gonna go check to see if there's delivery. Grab another Gatorade. Jake, hold down the fort for a second. Here. All right. Let me uh, pass by you. Good luck. I have made everything too tight. Cram it in the cram hole. Cram it in the cram hole. <laughs> go, dog, go. 
Let's see what we got here. What happened to the OF Striketron? The OF Striketron still gets used almost every month. We bring that bad boy out to games. We actually put an extended barrel on the Rapid Strike portion of it to make sure that it's more accurate than it was before because it was a damn mess. Darts just went everywhere. Um, Boom Tendo. I've been doing commissions. I'm working on three blasters for him. All performance upgrades. Oh, Alien right and wrong. An Alien Menace Disruptor that shoots Boomco? Sweet, dude. Yeah, Frankenzilla is the man, Boom Tendo. He's super cool. You like the Powerball rival rounds then, Sparks House? That's good. They look cool. Um, like I said, I, I almost bought the Powerball. I wasn't sure how it went. It was a delivery guy, but it wasn't for us. Huh? <laughs> it was the UPS truck. Uh, and it was not DHL for us. Damn. Ah, 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 here, let me fall over as I get in here. Yeah, get in here. All right. So, um... Uh, yeah, oh, so the other thing about the Striketron uh, is... Uh, the Striketron, I added a 9-inch barrel to it. And now it has a bad habit... Of uh, you run some darts through it, it runs five darts over itself, jams up the flywheel, jams up the pusher, and blows the fuses on it. So I have to. Uh, it is accuracy over uh, accuracy over <laughs> ammunition, basically. Yeah, the rate of fire is too much for a tight bore barrel. All right. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, you did get to shoot the strike tron. That's right, Scott. Yeah, he did. And uh, man, I wish I would have been there. It would, uh, you know, it's such a great, such a great thing that we can, you know, provide to the community. That you know, people people love playing with the stupid stuff I make. Uh, <laughs> I know that uh, both Michelle and uh, Ryan from Make Test Battle, uh, when they came to our last war, uh, they both had to shoot the hammer strike because it's so. <laughs> It's so the dumbest dumb thing, but it is and, so fun. <laughs> it's dumb and fun. Um, let's see. Oh, Looking Bonnie's forward. working with Zilla. Well, how many of us? Uh, all of us are working with Zilla. <laughs> As well, we should be. That guy makes good work. All right. Do you uh, have a regulator? And if so, what do you plan to do with yours? Um... I don't have a regular, and I'm not planning on getting one. It was one that I was actually not excited about, because uh, the the whole premise of the blaster is cool, I guess, but it's nothing that can't be done with a rapid strike with trigger control. Yeah, and, and, and you know, uh, we've been working with guys who have been doing Arduino builds that have, you know, we, you know, the I don't know. I, I don't see uh, Select Fire being all that valuable of a thing because I have this and it allows me to shoot a dart or three darts or all the or darts. all the darts all the darts uh Skyler Jacob bought a nemesis and put a 3s lipo in my paintball pod back and went to town at dart wars nice, nice. <laughs> now you just need to get yourself a mr. beer yeah <laughs> hit the thrift stores look for mr. beer uh, this mod it's the the meanest mod possible because you're taking the entire dart pool away from everybody else like um this is literally the entire novacon rival dart pool and uh <laughs> now i have to buy another dart pool so i can run my <laughs> mr beer uh and baba bob got us more mr beer tanks so yeah. uh we're gonna have to build at least one more yeah um, um but, you know, it, it leads to good Juggernaut-style uh, play that we could have a blue nemesis with a Mr. Beer as well and have one on each team to balance out the teams. Um, I, I'm very excited about our next war. I know that our next war, we're going to have at least, I would say, four or five nemesis on the field. And Probably. We're, gonna, we're probably going to see a few of these. Yeah, we're going to see some uh, Haras. We're going to see some Nemesi. Uh I imagine nobody will be running the judge except for you. I'm so excited about the judge. So dumb. You'll be the judge. Uh, let's see. Clowny put... Gonna run that twin shock? 
Uh, my Envor blaster does the same thing, nothing uh, but jam. Yeah, I know. Uh, isn't it fun? Thanks, Rapid Strike. <laughs> Can't fix. No idea what the problem is. No, no, Zilla. Just jelly of you working with the man. Okay. Ah. He's jelly of us. I, it, it's going to be great. I, 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 The biggest problem is going to be shipping costs. Uh, between trying to ship stuff back and forth across the Pacific Ocean for part of us to work on it over here and part of us to work on it over there. Uh, Max Shreve, Shreve, uh, sorry Max, I'm butchering it. Share Bell says, hi guys. Hi Max, how you doing man? I'm sorry I butchered your last name. I'm really bad about names. Thanks uh, for watching. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Bro, at Dark Wars, my stribal made some kid cry and I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I've made kids cry with the uh, strike tron before. Like little Jack, I shot him right in the lip from like 10 feet away. Just opened up the entire thing. 18 darts right in his face. And boy, he was crying like nobody's tomorrow. Yeah, but he had to call that hit. <laughs> yeah, no, there was no getting around that one. I shot him 18 times in the face. Yeah, but it happens. There's no crying in Nerf. Uh, <laughs> well, there is actually. Hey, let's see, uh, Arcwave235 says, is the Hera worth uh, the, uh, the modify or no? I would say, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to buy the battery pack for it. I call it a day. Yeah, you know, that's why I was I, I was talking to somebody about a commission. All he wanted was his uh, Zeus rewired, and it was like, you know, for the cost of shipping me a Zeus, me rewiring it, and then buying a 3S LiPo and buying a charger... You might as well just buy a Hera and the Rival Pack. It's going to be good enough. It's not going to be amazing, but you honestly, you can't spin the motors much faster in Rival anyway. It's not going to increase your range. The only thing you, you really can do to Rival is increase your, uh, you know, increase your spin-up time. And I think that the, uh, the, the Nerf Rival Battery Pack probably does that just fine. Ah, uh, Skyler says that the next summer we will see another nemesis on the field. Is nice. Yeah, we look forward to having you actually come out for a war. And then finally, I'll get to see the blaster that I built. Yeah, for right. <laughs> uh, Muga said, uh, "Did you see the judge modified to use rockets?" Yes. Uh, good old Walcom yep. and Chalo, the uh, Captain Xavier. Man, I am dropping everybody's names and not their handles. I really should stop that. He goes back and forth on those anyway, though. Walcom calls him Chalo all the time. I thought that was really cool, but the thing that I like about the judge is that it's a big old shotgun. It's it's so ridiculous and so silly, but it's still a, a functional shotgun, you know, as it sits on the shelf. Um, yeah, like... Uh... What was I thinking? Oh, uh, I was thinking of converting an Aerostorm to shoot rockets. Uh, but so far, my conversions with the Aerostorm have been awful. I've tried double springing. I've tried single springing. I've tried weaving springs. I've tried back-to-back -back springs. I have tried just about everything. I have actually had one Aerostorm disintegrate in my hand and cut my hand open. I have tried uh, different springs from different just, just they're all arrow storms are all old and brittle. Uh, but yeah, I, I really want a kick-ass arrow storm that shoots demo rockets. That would be sweet. Uh, you know, I have my my kick-ass uh, bow and arrow uh, that shoots uh, relatively hard. It's not as hard as I want. I I found a material to make plunger heads out of. So I can create a craft a new plunger head for the, the Nerf bow and arrow. The only problem is it has to be cut just so perfect. Uh, and you know, it's gonna take me having to get out the digital calipers, mic the inside of the diameter, really, you know, uh, make this rubber washer work for me. Yeah. Because if it's if it's too big, it likes to drag and you don't get any uh, piston action. If it's too small, there's obviously gonna be air leaks. So it's gotta be just perfect. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Skyler said, uh, what I thought was cool is there were some cheaters that day, and the reps told me to light them up. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, no, it's always good lighting cheaters up. <laughs> uh, That's one of the things we've uh, kind of...
kind of started doing as a policy in our war. We've had a few problems with some certain certain individuals individuals who uh, don't like to call their hits, and instead of starting an argument about it, you just light them up. Light them up. There's enough people with powerful blasters in our games that yeah, there are certain hits that you just can't not call. Yeah. If you're if cringing it, and ouching in fear, then you're getting hit, and that's all there is to it. If it's leaving welts, you're doing it right. <laughs> um, boom tend to put the, the arrow storm can shoot Boomco. Yes, it can. And uh, I think uh, I need to hand one of those off to uh, Dark Vader to uh, see what he uh, can do with a conversion to uh, get it to shoot Boomco. Seeing as how Dark Vader is all about his Boomco Heck yeah. and nerf conversions and nerf to Boomco conversions. <laughs> Um, uh, Pete Fuzzy Pete is back, y'all. What's up, Pete Fuzzy Pete? <laughs> woo woo. Uh, which blaster is really best to be a loner in your guys' opinion? Uh, okay, so for our uh games that we run for uh birthday parties, we loan out strong arms. Uh, we have 25 strong arms that we loan out for kids, and when we did our Nerf Day party, which I did get a little bit of footage, I'm gonna try and get up at some point in time. Uh, we had a all strong arm round. The all strong arm round turned out to be the funnest round of the day. <laughs> it because, was hilarious. Because everybody's just like, ah, strong arm. Oh, I didn't reach. Ah, strong arm, run up closer, didn't reach. Everybody's engaging at like 10 feet. That was, uh, Foam Data Services told us that that's, that is the, the ideal thing to use as a loaner. They're cheap, they're easy to find at thrift shops. They tend to just work pretty well. And uh, people are left wanting more, and that inspires them to go buy themselves a de decent Nerf Blaster. Yeah. Uh, as far as, I, I would say that if we were to have a mag-fed loaner that we would hand out to people... Stripe. Stripe's good. Um, the Reaper, for how damn cheap they are and how yeah. well they shoot, the Reaper, I think, is a solid loaner. Um, you can get those for... I, hell, I got mine for like two fifty at Walmart. You can often find them for like 5 bucks if Walmart still has them. Um, and, and yeah, those things are kind of stupid proof and they perform really well. Skyler wanted you to know that he uh, got himself a drain blaster that shoots 300 feet per second. Nice. You that's, think that's the war too. Yeah, that's like what you want to light somebody up in the face with. You know? <laughs> I mean, uh, Dark Vader hit me in the face with a, uh, a Boomco convert. No, it was a Boomco far shot that he, uh, re restrung. Shooting about 130 to 140 feet per second got me right in the cheek, like right next to the eye, right under the eye pro. And god damn it, that stung. I mean, I was pissed. <laughs> no, I think the last game that Out of Darts was at, he got me with his M6 right in the eye protection. And yeah, I got it for a minute there. I was like, ooh, no, good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, but uh, yeah, that's how you handle that shit. Point blank dart swarm. <laughs> <laughs> I like your style, Clowny. Uh, Scott, I put at Dart Wars, it's so close quarters that I shot people with my stride ball super close. I shot them four to ten times because on a three S, you can't control the fire rate. <laughs> that's good. That means that means we did a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I I wish we could post pictures. I don't know. I guess from live control room, I probably could post pictures of what we're talking about, but uh, it's uh, it was just a beautiful project. Uh, Skyler came to us with this project that he said, yeah, uh, mounted on stripe. It turns out that when you cut the cross bolt at the certain right position, it actually just locks in. So the epoxy work on it was uh, fairly easy and uh, Sorry, Scott, it's not the cleanest work I've ever done. I, like, I really, uh, I wanted it to be cleaner. It would have taken more time, though. And I did use three different types of epoxy on it. Um, so I used, uh, let's see, so you know the types of epoxies we use. We used Loctite uh, two-part plastic epoxy, which is a methyl methacrylate, which burns the plastic together. That's what I'll use for main bonds. Uh, secondary bonds, I use uh, the JB Weld plastic welder. Uh, it's a putty that you fit in. Uh, great, great. Uh, if you work with it and you get your hands just a little damp, it actually will smooth out even better. I, uh, excellent gap filler. Excellent gap filler. And then for a real good gap filler, uh, we got uh, the Rector Seal EP200. And using the Rector Seal EP200, uh, same, same concept, get your fingers a little wet. You can really smooth everything out. 
you don't have to uh, do a whole lot of sanding after that if you've got everything you know uh, perfect and uh, I really wish I had known all that when I had built the uh, the um, Strike stri No, no, not strike on the uh, brain fart. That's all. No, uh, that one that's a hammer shot and a strike. Oh, the hammer strike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, maximum overdraw or Bob, aka Bob. Because, uh, yeah, the, the shell work was a little dirty on that one too, and I could have made it a lot better. But uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff coming out now that's going to be a lot cleaner, a lot better. Uh, I'll have my workshop fully functional probably in the next month and a half, which means everything will be done indoors in a clean environment. Uh, no more goop in the paint. Yeah, we, uh, we've had uh, one of our biggest issues with, uh, with the commissions we were doing is that all of our painting and hydro dipping had to be done outside, and we had a bizarre and incredibly wet uh, winter and spring this year so we were weeks behind on several projects just because we couldn't get things painted we couldn't get the hydro dip on things just because the weather was not working with us and uh, that's not gonna be an issue anymore yeah I'll have a nice warm workshop to work in uh, ventilation will be a huge bitch uh, but I'll figure that out so I don't get high and then die from you know inhaling stuff uh, let's see, Pete Fuzzy Pete, but the Cyclonic is a good loaner and they are getting cheaper. I saw one of those at Walmart. It's got the full-on Fiesta Deco job on it. Arcwave235 wanted to know, did you see Spider-Man Homecoming yet? And if so, what did you think? Uh, I saw it. Did you see I it? did not see it. Okay, I saw it and I thought, honestly, hands down, probably the best Spider-Man movie yet. Um... The acting was much more superb than a crying Tobey Maguire. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. The first Sam Raimi Spider-Man was a fantastic movie. Uh, two and three, not so much. They really kind of missed the mark. Uh, I, I felt they, they pulled a they pulled an old school Batman on uh, on two and three of the Tobey Maguire series. Okay, we got brakes out front. Large vehicle, squeaky brakes. We have a package. Take a peek at the. I'm gonna peek. Schnizzmouth. I'm gonna peek at the schnizmouth. I don't know. Well, before I run away again, because I'm not getting up, I'll just ask if it's DHL. Right. And the dog hasn't started barking yet, so it could be. Uh, could be the neighbor with squeaky brakes. Um, let's see. Whoop, 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 whoop. Skyler asked, "Want me to send them to you, Nerm?" Um, yeah, you can. I like I said, I'm new to the, new to the whole YouTube streaming thing, so I might be able to put them up. I might not. Um, I don't want to risk killing the feed either, so I'll. Uh, I'll post, I mean, we will get the video up eventually so people can see what we're talking about. Um, let's see, you should try E6000. It's great non-mix epoxy and it's stronger than most epoxies I've found. You know what? I actually have to beat. I have not used it yet. So uh, we'll find out if that's going to be a, a viable option. On our next project, whatever that may be. Yeah. Um, the, uh, DHL? Yeah, I'm leaving it right here. All right, thank you. Tags, Perfect, okay. thanks. Thanks. All right, I'm going to get it. All right. So now we find out what the mystery package is. I don't think it's what I think it is because it sounded like it was not big. Is it big, Jake? No. All right, then that is not no, massive. No, this is, uh, this is it's the notebook. It's not massive darkness. That means we have gotten the stuff. To do a review on from China. Okay. China land package. It says there's seven units in there. You need a knife. I don't think so. I think we'll just tear through this like a savage. I cut you, man. I cut you, man. All right. All right. So unboxing. Light take. Light take. Unboxing. Take one. What do we got here? We have 
A second bag. A bag inside a bag. A bag it's, inside of a bag inside ba of a bag. It's bag inception. All right. We have a target of some kind. That's fun and exciting. Target. It's just fancy Walmart. It's just fancy Walmart. Where is Big Cousin Steve? We need a Big There's Cousin. So much tape in here. All right. So they've sent us a little sample of everything here. And so we have right off the bat. I have. First gen accurate darts. Yeah, you just take those and back. Can't say I like those. There's some Accu fakes. They look to be of uh, reasonable quality. There should be seven things in there. Can you pull the head off? No. Not immediately, no. Nope. Okay, so that's good. They might survive a flywheel. Okay. I like that. Accu fakes are good. I'll get back to the feed in a second, guys. As soon as we, we have. We have a leg holster? a droplet of some kind that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, a hammer shot or something. Yeah. This looks pretty damn adjustable. Let me see if I got a hammer over here. Oh man, this is gonna be dangerous. Oh, okay. All right. There's yeah. a hammer shot. Let's see if this thing fits around a hammer. Sh I don't know how it's supposed to go exactly, but. Uh, it's kind of cool. We'll definitely be able to find a use for this. So you don't think it'll fit around your leg, huh? That might fit around my leg. Maybe your leg, not mine. Not my big old fatty thigh. That's the, the bottom one's smaller. They have elastic on them, so that's nice, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Cool. A little dart storage. That's uh, not really bad, actually. Yeah, it's, and I, and I want to say that that's only a couple dollars on the site, so that's pretty legit. We have a uh, a cardboard target. Uh, it looks like it's got a circle around here. Oh. No longer editable. The thumbnail can still be changed. Uh, oh, I think we're back. Okay, are we back live? I, I see the. I see movement. It's, hey, there we are. We're back. All okay. right, we're back. All right, it says we're reconnecting. Okay, I think we're back, All guys. Right. Uh, how's it? What's it say over there now? It's cool. We got it. We're back on. Okay, cool. So uh, I put the. It's, it's not a dildo. It's not a dildo. It's not a dildo. I put the acufakes in this sweet green hole thing, and uh, let's see if it works. Did you give me a functional blaster? Yeah, I think so. You gotta load it, don't you? Got a uh, clip lock. I don't remember how these. Th I don't think this thing works. Oh. Nice. Um, I would like something else because this doesn't seem to be locking in here. But it might be because this button's jammed. Oh, okay. All right. But it worked. It held darts, and they fired out of it. Here's uh, that dart back. For the stinky doggies. Yeah, good call, good call. So yeah, this thing looks cool. Remains to be seen how well it actually works. We also have a 15 round banana mag in orange. That looks pretty nice. We'll see how that works too. We're still live. No, 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 see now we're probably live again. No, okay, well. So I'll go back to see if we're uh, actually broadcasting. Oh, don't play it. That'll start the video from the beginning there. Just go back. Oh, no. I think the, well. Just go, go back. That's how I got back to watching that streaming. Well... So streaming works really good. I don't know if you guys can actually hear us or not, but uh, streaming uh, is catching up. A lot of people are online. Skyler Super Offline again. Truncated. Good luck, guys. And Boom Tinder said, I'm going to go take a pee. All right. Well, if you can see us, then, you know, we're going to do a proper review video on the stuff that we got here.
And now we're live again. All right, well, while we're live, Buenos noches. We, we were yeah. signed Cheers off. Cheers to our We're going to do a proper video reviewing all the stuff that we got from uh, lighttake.com. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, guys, good hanging out. We'll be back with more live streaming and content for you guys. Love y'all. Take it easy. Mwah. Go ahead and hit stop on the uh, camera. Yeah. Finish. Finish. I'm hitting finish, but it's not finishing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take a second. Shit, we got an hour and an hour on there. Yeah, dude, they're like, they're using the same... Oh, you know what? There, There is a difference between these and the AccuFakes. Puppy dog cam. There's a big ass seam across the front of these that isn't on the uh, isn't on the real ones. Huh? <laughs> Puppy dog cam. Foot cam. Yeah, we're still live. <laughs> Dance cam. Bitchin. Make it stop. Inception cam. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, we're trying to sign off nerve herders. Just uh, it won't let us finish the video. <laughs> what if you just turn the, the camera or the phone off? Getting your little uh, nothing because it's nothing more frozen. Oh, dude, just shut your phone off. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're frozen hard. Oh, you know what. Stop streaming right there.